No matter if your stove has an easy clean function, the entire stove won't clean itself. To get a really good deep down clean, you need to actually remove the burners and pans from the stove and use some good old fashioned elbow grease on the top and inside. In this video, we will go over four quick steps to help you tackle the cleaning of your electric coil stove top. Real men get it done. All right. Disclaimer, I'm not responsible for damage to your stove, so please be careful. This particular stove clean was for a client. Um, this isn't my own personal stove, uh, but not sure how they got cat hair everywhere, but this is one of the most extreme stoves I had encountered. So quick tools that we'll use that will be under uh, $10 is um, a degreaser. Auto band is my preferable favorite. It's a cleaner and degreaser. Steel wool pad, a dollar from the dollar store. Scraper, I prefer plastic. You use a metal one as well, but be careful of the scratching. Water, of course, and then a couple of microfiber tiles that you can get for two to three dollars, bringing our total under $10. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is actually sweep and vacuum our stove, top, bottom, inside, out, and behind. It's an often overlooked step, but you'd be surprised how much gunk and things build up behind your stove and even on the sides. So let's give this a little bit of attention before we actually move forward to the actual stove. All right, next up, we wanna remove our heating coils, our pans, and our racks. And in a perfect scenario, um, we want to begin spraying these items, letting them sit for a little bit, and letting some of our cleaner do the work. So as I said, auto band, I love that. As a cleaner degreaser, I'm actually using a little bit. I had super clean, this is another degreaser. If you're at the dollar store, you could grab awesome. It's also for just $1 as a really good degreaser. So I just was finishing up this product, but you will see me utilizing the auto band in the spray bottle uh, to really just saturate the oven and the top and the coils and everything uh, to begin letting that really get its work in so I can start phasing into cleaning here next. All right, time to get it in. So now we're gonna transition into cleaning all of our accessories. Uh, so grabbing that Brillo pad, getting to work um, on your pans, on your racks, any accessories that are part of the stove microwave combination. And I also, even in my own personal home one, I take out the actual coils and I scrub them depending on how gross they are. Typically coils probably aren't meant to be wet uh, but they're very durable um, and I've had never had an issue personally um, but if you do have any reservations uh, just be very careful and to not get them so damp as you see I kind of have water running over the pans which I don't mind but I don't necessarily have the coils saturated because I am going to end up wiping those off but get all your accessories taken care of and then we're going to move into our next phase next phase is moving forward with cleaning all the appliances so i'm talking about the stove um, the uh, stove top and also the oven so using your brillo pad is great and then this is where you want to use your scraper um, as i said i prefer for plastic ones those can be ordered off of amazon um, you could also get a metal one from uh, the dollar store but be careful so you don't scratch anything but this is where you can put in that work to really get any of that caked up grime scraped off and it'll just kind of easily come off uh, so watch me as i work to get some of those spots and things removed by using my brillo and also by using my scraper uh, to get some of that um, just caked on grit up
fourth and final step is to wipe everything dry and then begin uh, replacing all of your accessories. I like to wipe everything dry and let it sit for maybe 10 to 15 minutes just to make sure everything is good. Obviously water and electricity don't mix on electric stoves. So just making sure everything dry is just a little extra um, added protection uh, for your stove. So after that, you should be all done. And um, yeah, that is my four step process to cleaning a stove. So I hope this video was very um, informative. I hope you learned something. Uh, please drop some comments and let me know uh, if you were able to use it or if you have a comment yourself of how you may have a tip or trick for the stove. Uh, that's about it for now. Thank y'all for tuning in so much. Appreciate y'all. Um, Till next time, peace and blessings. Real men get it done.